Did you know that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, etc., in a certain sense, sums up to minus 1 over 12? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a cute one, isn't it? Sometimes people ask me, what is your favorite number? As a mathematician, you've got to have a favorite number. Well, I guess the most obvious answer would be pi or something like that. But I sometimes say, partly tongue in cheek, you know, my favorite number is minus 1 over 12. And uh, a perplexed look, why? Because it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and so on, all the way to infinity. Now, in fairness, of course, if you just naively sum up 1 plus 2 plus 3, you get a larger and larger and larger number, which tends to infinity. So the sum, in the naive sense, doesn't make sense. Uh, but there are ways in mathematics to sort of extract the infinite part to remove, like a surgically remove the infinite part of a summation like that, and to leave something meaningful. And uh, there's, there are some rigorous methods for doing so. And if you apply those methods to this sum, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, etc., all the way to infinity, you actually end up with a negative number, and not even an integer, minus 1 over 12. This is significant for many reasons. In quantum physics, uh, there are various phenomena, such as the Casimir effect, in which a naive calculation in physics would give you precisely this infinite sum, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. But physicists are not, of course, realize that it's meaningless in a naive sense. So they use what they call regularization. When they apply regularization, which is a mathematical tool, a mathematical method, they end up with minus 1 over 12. So it has significance in mathematics and in physics. And I think it's very cool, you know? <laughs> what could be simpler than 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4? But the answer is unexpected and surprising. 